The time has come, we are going to the dry. And get out of the water. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Seeing Odd coming out of the water, I can't help but to remember the first time we splashed Odd over three years ago. What an emotional day it was! For some people, it might feel like we just finished refitting the boat and now we sold the boat. But in reality, we live full-time intensively for over two years aboard Odd. And as someone commented in the video we mentioned we sold the boat, we can sell Odd, but we will never sell all the great moments and memories we created with her. Well, if you don't know yet, yes, we sold our boat. Time to go! It's the last time we're gonna see Odd in the water. Let's do it! Kiki's coming! What? Oh, Kiki! <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's Kiki. The trap is Kiki. <laughs> oh man, you got me! I was hyped for a while, a second. Yeah, we know. Some of you really want to know what's next. And the reason why we haven't shared this yet is not to keep you in the dark, but because we are working really hard in the plan to make it easier to understand. Otherwise, we will leave some of you really confused. In the meanwhile, it's time to get Odd out of the water, as we have just a few days to prepare her for the new owner, and there's a lot of work ahead of us. There she comes, getting out of the water. Yeah, that's weird. It's always a weird feeling to see your boat outside of the water. It's, just weird. it's a sad moment, but it's a happy moment at the same time. Not too bad, not that many barnacles. I think the boat's been good. It's not that dirty. That is great last week. The sides at least. It's not too bad. The bottom I didn't, so the bottom is a little bit worse. Yeah, 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 I scraped the side, but not, not this part. Ooh. Oh, I see a crab there. There's a crab right under the center board. Oh, crab. One fell, there's another one. I think we have a family of crab on the center board. That's we funny. have dinner. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We sailed from Brazil to the Caribbean, north of the Caribbean, south. And the boat's out of the water, we didn't create any accident. We had a lot of fun. And I mean, like, that's a really big end of chapter for us. Yeah, yeah it's, we didn't explain you yet what's gonna happen. We, we told you you're gonna sell the boat. We didn't tell you the big plans. We have huge plans. You have no idea, it's gonna be just massive. But I think it's not time to talk about that yet, soon. This is our new home for the next three weeks. <laughs> the shower is right here, toilet shower. And that's our new home for three weeks. 
<laughs> I said Martin the Marino, same. B- back to the dry. <laughs> I said the same thing. I kind of know this life on the dry, don't you? Yeah, but I, I, now we have an air conditioner. Oh yeah, yeah, the marina let us borrow an air conditioner that's going to be really cool. And maybe on the last week here, they might let us use the hotel room inside the marina so we can empty the boat. That's, that's going to be really awesome if it happens. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> they need to check if it's available because this time of the year, they are really busy here. So hope they have a room for us. Once again, things don't go as planned, <laughs> and now what's the problem? We got this new toy, Dan, thanks so much, we really appreciate it. As you can tell, it's, we're sweating. It's really hot on a metal board, on a board yard, on the dry. So he let us use this portable air conditioning, but it's an European outlet, turn, I'm, I guess, UK outlet. So now we need to f- fix that. In Grenada, they all use this, but I think it's from UK. So pretty much, we bought this little one that we can fit here and then Oops. we bought this one that I don't think is gonna of course it doesn't fit <laughs> yeah so we bought this one thinking we we're gonna just build an extension that's the only one we found and it's not it's just too big so we had the crazy idea of cutting this wire then said we can do that then thanks yeah, so much it's approved we yeah, can it's do approved. That. I mean because if we have this problem a lot of other people that are gonna use these have the same problem because here they don't use these outlets so we're gonna cut this and Hopefully, we're gonna install these instead, and hopefully it's gonna work. <laughs> hopefully, don't mess this one up. Let's try. By the way, here in Granada, it's 120 volts, and this air conditioner is 220 volts, so that's all good. Who would say that in 2023, Duca would be doing this kind of wiring? No one. <laughs> Not me. Duca from 2020 would say that. No, nope. because in 2020 <laughs> was scared of touching anything electrical. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> really scared. <laughs> well, for all the teaching about electrical systems in the boat, we cannot express enough the gratitude we have for Fred. I mean, for our guru Fred, how we call him. For sure, without Fred's expertise, Odd wouldn't be in the remarkable shape she is right now. The tricky question is, which one is neutron, which one is life? <laughs> For the best. Fingers crossed. Ha! Ooh! That's, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, we are actually, we don't really like air conditioning, but here you need to like, there is no other option other than liking air conditioning. Now that the air conditioning is working, what's the plan? The plan is to go outside today and give our, just organize the deck. One of the things we need to do is to take out this stainless they stain from the stainless is two as you can tell we have a lot so we need to apply this product that we brought from brazil wait for five minutes and then clean it maybe it's not the best solution but we're gonna try it as we have it five minutes later this piece is ready <laughs> time to put this anchor down yeah the chain locker if the anchor stays inside and it's salty right now that means in the end of the hurricane season it's gonna be a lot more rust here so we want to just drop the chain and just put some fresh water here and see if we have anywhere that we need to paint around the chain locker because you know it can happen normal so let's put this thing down and Robert is gonna be down there with a pallet so we're gonna put the anchor on the pallet and the chain organize it Not bad, that's two years of cruising full time, 20 something years sitting on the boat yard. We re and we use for two full years. It's really good actually. Ooh. This is something that has been postponed for a while, but it's necessary. You know, chain locker always get a little bit of rust because of the chain, of course. And I think it's 
should just give a good clean and just try to clean the stain of uh, rust and let's see if we find actually rust. So that's a good and weird surprise. I just took the floor out. That's the floor I built, I don't know, two years and two and a half years ago. And ever since I didn't take this from the boat and I took that out and have no rust on the bottom. It's white, dirt, but white. But we do have some <laughs> oysters. Check this out. You want some lunch? <laughs> How's our plantation going? Oh, we have a meal here already. <laughs> believe I don't work, see? Another meal! So while Duke is getting food for us, I'm having fun, washing some clothes. Here the clothes dry really quick. I've been washing clothes every single day. For the inspection, let's see if Duca did a good job. Ooh, it's white and shiny. That's actually a sad day. I need to sell my kites. I mean, there is no way we can take everything we own inside the boat home. I mean, not home, to our next home. You don't know where is it yet, but we're not gonna tell you right now. But there's no way we can carry this out of the Caribbean in an airplane. So, I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I really love that. That was like the two best kites I have ever had. Yeah, we just taking some pictures because in order to sell, when you're not in your own country that you don't know anyone, you need to put on the internet and hope for the best and hope someone wants to buy our kites. We never plan to sell the boat right now. We always plan to sell the boat in Brazil one time, once we go back to Brazil, but you know, life happens, opportunities show up, cool projects show up, and we decide to do what we decide to do. So now, somehow, we need to sell a lot of my stuff. Surfboard, kites, boards, uh, for you name it. There is like ukulele we sold already, some tools we need to sell we didn't sell yet. Yeah, you know, it happens. It's crazy how different things have different meaning for different people. To me, selling or giving away my kites and boards means way more than just losing my equipment. It actually means we're leaving, for real. Even though it might not seem real yet, but odd will no longer be our home anymore. It's actually a really weird feeling for me. Even though I'm sad for leaving odd, I'm also so excited with the opportunity to dive in head first again. Just like when we first bought odd. Well, we really hope you're as excited as we are, because this is gonna be a really crazy ride. So I guess we see you guys next week. <laughs>